Hi, Ian McLean here with Coven's Cardiovascular Innovation. I want to introduce you to a very useful medical device product development tool. It's called the Manufacturer and User Facility Device Experience Database. So this is found on the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's website. And if you want to type in the acronym MODE, it'll be the first result. You need to click on the online search link, and that'll take us to the database. So I'm going to show you two ways that I use this database. The first way is to search for general information from the reports of adverse events involving medical devices. To do that, I use these first three search items, product problem, and you can search from a drop-down of uh, a variety of different medical device problems. There's also product class, if you knew which class your, your device that you wanted to search information for was in. And then you can also search by event type, such as death, injury, or malfunction. I'll give you a quick example. If we select a product problem, perhaps a battery issue, We'll refine that by selecting event type malfunction. And we'll further refine it using the date. Let's use the first month of the year. Now, once you've selected the date, click on search, and it will return results from the database. Here we have 332 records that meet our search criteria. Now you can search by manufacturer, brand name, or by date. And if you click on the link, it'll actually give you a more detailed explanation of what went wrong. Now the second way that I use this is if my team knows exactly what it is we're developing. In that case, I'm going to move over to the device classification database. Here, let's say my team is developing a superficial femoral stent. Once I find my product code, it's going to take me to the product classification page. What we're going to search for is something called the Total Product Lifecycle Product Code Report. That's a clickable link. Now this will take you to a listing of all the device problems that have been recorded in the mode database. So your team, you can imagine, could find this very useful to see the most common problems associated with the device that you're about to develop. If you click on any of the results, it'll actually take you back to the mode database, and you can search through them the same way we did before. So that's an introduction to the database. I hope you found that useful. If you'd like more information, um, reach out to me at Coven's Cardiovascular Innovation. Let's connect.